This is an ExoVision MP3 and FM receiver. Now, these are about $20 at Walmart. And, of course, that is very, very cheap for a car radio. And i just been very curious for actually several months now. And I finally broke down and bought one because I want to make a review video. One thing that's interesting is it advertises if you have an Android device, you can control the unit from your Android smartphone. Uh, we'll get into this a little more later. Uh, and maybe it has an iOS app, but this says Android device, so we'll see what uh, works with that. But that could be very handy if you had this hidden away somewhere. You know, for example, if you own a vintage vehicle, you want something modern, but you want it hidden, like under a seat or something, or a very common thing is a glove box install. You could just control it with your phone. So if that that could be interesting this so inside the box we got a little minimalistic manual here you get a thing to uninstall it with you get a very tiny wiring harness uh, basically enough for four speakers a remote out for an amp your, your two hots and a ground. Oh, and you get a very small little credit card size remote. By the way, this thing weighs absolutely nothing. And here it is. I, let me see if I can find just to show how tiny this thing is. Here is an iPhone 5C. You can see this, uh, how just shallow this thing is compared to the Apple, or to this. Of course, it's a standard dent size across. So, let's... It's, I knew this wasn't going to weigh anything because the box didn't weigh hardly anything, but wow. I uh, got a volume knob here that pushes... Uh, looks like it is not a detachable face. There's your SD card slot. There's a USB slot here. And then just controls across the front and on the side. Well, I've got it hooked up temporarily just here on the kitchen counter. I have specifically chosen these Pioneer speakers that I've done a review on, I specifically chose them because they are rather inefficient. Car speakers, generally speaking, are pretty inefficient. So I've got a small 10 amp power supply here, but should be enough to run this. So I'm going to just plug it in. Oh, well, nothing's gone bang yet. Oh, it's lit up. Hey, it's... Oh, I may have to mute this. Three FM bands, but no AM. But I kind of expected that. Oh, that's down. That's where they would have the down arrow on top. Or 70s. Then for tomorrow, sunshine, highs in the lower 90s, and it looks like Tuesday through Saturday. Well, can't listen to that. Don't want to listen to the weather too much, but at least I don't have to worry about copyright with that. Uh, let's, let's just do a quick line input test uh, from, an, from my Apple iPhone. Not Bluetooth, just a line test and see what happens. That's... All right, let's see what happens. Oh. Oh, that's so good. was 
with the phone all the way up and this all the way up. I heard little, if any, sounds of distorting. If it was, it wasn't doing it a lot. It was didn't have any trouble driving these inefficient Pioneer speakers, but it did not get them very loud. So, if your car is not particularly quiet on the inside, you will probably want to take advantage of the pre-amplifier outputs on the back and use an external amplifier. So, uh, what should we check next? Getting ready to try out the Bluetooth on this thing. So, oh, it says it's connected. So, okay, we got volume. So, let's go back to music and try that same song we had before. Okay, well it works and the sound is, I would consider it acceptable, especially in a noisy car, but it doesn't sound quite as good as the direct line input. It looks like I need to load up some music on a USB and an SD card. Well, I stuck an SD card in it and as you can see, it works. Four cups of coffee, a bean burrito, the way three You can see it, it, and I was using it using the little, what they call a credit card size remote, but that's more like half a credit card. It's tiny, but it does have the functions on there. And I played with it a little bit beforehand. It seems to work. Let's go up another directory. You can see, go up one more directory. And we're back around to where we were. So, so far so good. So, uh, we'll try a couple more things, but so, I haven't run this thing continuously and all these video clips have actually been just kind of interspersed. This has not gotten a chance to run continuously. I don't know if heat will be a problem at some point, but still. It does everything it's supposed to do. That's pretty impressive, though, for something that costs 20 bucks. So far, the only complaint I have is the fact that the volume just does not get very loud at all. <laughs> Well, as you can see, even with the volume all the way up, this thing draws less than half an amp. And I picked a song with some pretty good bass to it, so... If you're trying to shoehorn this into a car with a limited electrical system, you don't have to worry about putting that big of a load on it. Well, uh, I told a friend of mine about this little experiment here, and he said, I wonder how the Lapai would do to boost the output. So, since this has a pair of pre-amplifier outputs, I hooked up the Lapai, and 
I'm willing to bet my camera's microphone was having trouble. Uh, it gets noticeably louder with the Lapai amplifier, and given uh, how little the power it's drawing right now than versus when I was running the amplifier at full load, this the 4x10 output on this thing is dubious at best. I would really, I really have question that this thing is this amplifier is probably really only a few watts per channel five watts at best probably more like between one and three and I'm suspecting on the lower end of that scale but at least it does have the pre-amplifier output so you can use an amplifier though if you're in a noisy car I even have questions about this even being enough you probably would need a a purpose-built car amplifier but anyway that was certainly an interesting adventure well we are playing with the exo vision stereo here and I've got it installed in the truck link and time to try out the Bluetooth functionality let's call Chris master one shall we It's ringing and it's coming through the speakers. Can you hear me now? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think this test is a success. <laughs> All right, what I'll tell you what I'm doing is that I'm in my truck right now. I am doing a review video on a $20 car stereo from Walmart with Bluetooth. And I just wanted to, I, I just wanted to see how good or bad the stereo was, but I wanted to try the Bluetooth functionality. I've actually, this is actually the first time I've talked on the phone via Bluetooth. Oh, wow. I feel, I feel honored, and I now feel sorry that I opened with the Ryan uh, Styles line. <laughs> uh, but I don't want to talk to you. Oh, well, hey, I was uh, at work this morning. I had YouTube going, and I was... What video was it? Oh, yeah, that um, uh, Carol Burnett blooper with the elephant story. Oh, I forgot about that one. And uh, and then I stumbled upon a uh, Carol, uh, not Carol Burnett, Vicki Lawrence interview where she talks about it. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to, when I'm done with this video, filming this, I'll have to run upstairs and send you a link to that interview video. It was actually kind of interesting. Alright, yeah, man. Alright, well, the sound quality is not perfect, though that's to be expected over the telephone, But, and while I'm not driving, which would be the acid test, but this works. It's doing its one job. Mm -hmm. It only has one job! It does it rather well. Yes, it does. All right. Well, if everything goes okay, you'll get to hear yourself on my video in a few weeks. Payback for on the I can't do it right now, but for what I did to you on the Green Cousin video. Oh yeah, the. Uh... Woo! If I keep doing that, you're gonna hit me in the night. <laughs> or something like that. One thing I'll uh, point out is that the, the radio actually has a counter on it for how long you've been talking, and it's actually roughly 10 seconds behind the counter on the iPhone. Huh. Which I think the phone goes by to ring, how, counts how long it took to ring, where the radio actually goes by how long you've been talking. 
Well, I don't think uh, the viewers of my video want to listen to three minutes of us BS back and forth. So I'm going to uh, end this and we'll I'll talk to you later. Alright. Was that a burp? Yeah. Don't worry, if it was a fart, I would, you would have heard me say, Just farted. <laughs> Just either, belched. Or either that or I'll be, or I would have said, Stop! Oh! Oops, you did it again. Thank you for that uh, enlightening information. No problem. Thank you for calling the Chris Master One Matt Fart Ghost in Ghost Hotline. <laughs> okay. There's some. Well, folks. Oh, he hung up. That was Chris, YouTube user Chris Master One. So if you want to check him out, duh. oh duh, I can put a link down in the description or even have a card pop up on the side. So I'll have you covered. So now I tried playing music here in the truck through Bluetooth and I'm just going to say it's acceptable but not as good as a proper line in connection. If, if your kids are have to listen to their music and they're in the back seat and you don't want to fool with the line-in cable, it's listenable. Line-in sounds just fine. I am not using the internal amp with, here in the truck. I am using my uh, JL Audio E4300 under the seat. There, I've got another video on the speakers and amplifier setup in here. Obviously not this head unit. And I've just disconnected the Bluetooth. Now, using the same song that I used in the kitchen demonstration, this is David Cutter music, Nobody's Perfect, from this album right here. There will also be a link to this in the description. You have may, may have noticed this kind of flapping around in the dash. It's due to an incredibly crappy fit kit that's broken. But part of the reason I bought this was to do a review on it and to serve as an intern for radio while my Delco UX1 is back at the repair shop. Not fully featured, there's no AM on this, but granted, I've got good speakers in here, I've got a good amp. I've got a good sub. I'm reasonably be happy. My review on this, the Bluetooth is, eh, it doesn't sound the best, but Bluetooth isn't the best. It sounds acceptable for music. Telephone is kind of, nah, but that's the nature of telephone. So I can't fault it on either one of those. It's got FM 1, 2, and I think 3 for a total of 18 presets. That's more than I'll ever need. In fact, 6. The 6 that uh, are right here is enough for me. So, that works. The USB and the SD card, that sounds reasonably okay to me. And it does play WAV files. I meant to say that earlier. It does play WAV files. I know. I tried it. And I think that's about it. You've got bass, treble, balance, fader. And actually, that reminds me. Our def I need to find where the fader goes with the preamp output. So let's find out together. In an unusual move, the preamp output 
fade with the front speakers instead of the rear which for my setup I actually prefer but it's kind of an unusual move because they're usually put on with the rear because a lot of people use them to drive a sub but as I said the internal amplifier is pretty wimpy on this so unless you have a really quiet car you're probably gonna wanna land your hands on an outboard amplifier which kind of defeats the purpose of a $20 head unit <laughs> but the power amplifier is a bit wimpy that's and no AEM those are about the only two things I can really fault with this thing maybe as I live with it the next few weeks I'll be able to find some other uh, comments and complaints or praises. Hello everybody. Well, we've got this XD Vision uh, radio I did a review on and I'm going to put this little sit nippet on the tail end of the review. After driving with this thing for roughly two weeks, um, I've noticed a few things. Nothing too crazy, but one, you know, I tested it on the kitchen counter. But you really did. I didn't get a good sense of how of the FM tuner's personality. Um, drawing in stations that other radios don't have a lot of trouble pulling in, this would fade in and out. And the thing is, as the signal got weaker and stronger, the volume would get weaker and stronger, uh, seemingly on its own. But of course, it was just as the signal got stronger and weaker so my assumption would be higher quality radios have some kind of auto gain control in the audio circuit to compensate for that where this obviously being a very basic and obviously built to a price cheap design and simple design doesn't have that uh, it almost feels like the FM was it's like okay we gotta put one on so we'll just throw this in to make give it an FM there's obviously no AM, so that kind of supports my theory that having a tuner is almost an afterthought. The clock, you have to push the clock button to make it show up, and then it won't stay. It'll stay on for a few seconds, and then it'll go off and show the frequency you're listening to, or it'll go back telling you, hey, you're listening to AUX, or you're listening to Bluetooth. If I'm listening to the line input, I think I know that, and I really would like, would I would rather have the clock on there. When I'm listening to the radio station, I could go either way on that. Having the option to make the clock or the frequency dominant would be nice. But again, for 20 bucks, you can't ask for much, and I'm not going to really complain about that. However, my time with this radio, it's going to come out. I've got my Delco UX1 back from the repair shop, so I'm going to be popping this baby in in just here in a few minutes. Well, I was going to do the final follow-up video on this $20 car stereo. However, there's a small problem with doing that. The problem is, I got my hands on an Android phone and I wanted to try out the Android app for it. Here's the problem. On the front it has a QR code. In fact, this QR code right here. So I scanned it, went to the site, in the words of Chris Master One, you only have but anyway, I think that pretty much means that the, the Android app on this is, as of right now, a fail. I did a little Googling and attempt to find the Android, find the app in another place or maybe a compatible one and uh, no luck. So, unfortunately, one of the more unique features is completely unusable. So... So I guess that's the final chapter in that. If uh, I ever 
if I find an app that works, I will post an update video. Thank you everybody for watching, and if you have something constructed to say, that's what the comment section down in Sobovia are for, and I think I'm, I think I'm out of stuff to say. So, have a good day everyone, and roll that beautiful outro music.